YouTube, it's Missy, and today I decided that uh, I wanted to share with you guys my the rest of my March birthday haul. Um, so it had books and it also has other um, girly items, but before I showed you one of my birthday presents, hint it's a bag, I wanted to uh, show you guys my old bag because I'm going to have to transfer this this stuff in here into my new bag and what better way to declutter a purse and transferring it over to a new purse than to do a what's in my bag video uh, this is totally not book related but I love watching this on YouTube and so I thought I would share with you guys what's inside now this is a Michael Kors purse that my husband bought me for my birthday last year. It is gorgeous. This is the only uh, like name brand item I own. Uh, it was pretty pricey. For me, $250 for a bag is like a ridiculous amount of money and it's already super broken. Like just wear and tear. You would think that a $250 bag would last a little bit longer, but if you can see, I'll show up close. You see this? How it's like the, the leather is breaking. This part is all like breaking. Like it's all shedding or shredding. Like you can see all the yuck of this. Um, it, I loved the bag while it lasted. My husband was kind enough to replace this, this monster. I mean, it's just turning into grossness now. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. Like, should I keep a bag that's busted up or, like, donate it? I don't know. Does somebody want a bag that's got rips in it? Again... I don't know, but let's talk about what's inside the bag, shall we? Now, this is a typical mom bag. I don't have a table to set in front of me, so I'm just going to pull things out and show you. And here we go. There's just one giant pocket in here. There's a couple side pockets that you put like cards, but there's just one compartment in the middle. And I carry everything in my purse. That's probably why it's trashed. So the first things first in here is uh, a U.S. Customs Declaration because I do send things overseas a lot, like books for tradeaways and stuff. So this is just what you fill out to put on a package. I have a coffee house menu. This also came with a free coffee card, like a coupon at the top. I don't eat here and I never go here unless I get a free coffee and so I don't know why that's in my purse. Uh, time card for work and I have a whole bunch of cards here. I have condensed them so it's not just one card and each one but I have like several cards as you can see several cards so it's like birthday cards, thank you cards from uh, like co-workers and like more cards. I'm gonna transfer them now. I definitely don't need to keep those hanging out in my purse all day. All right, next I have not one, not two, but three Mad Libs in my purse. Do I need three Mad Libs? Definitely not. Uh, I have Adventure Time, I have Peanuts, and I have just a generic Spy Mad Libs. Why do I have three? I don't know. Should I take them out of my bag? Let me know down below if I should just keep them in there. I mean, I do enjoy doing them with my kids, but I don't need three. Um, flushable wipes? You never know. Uh, a Christmas chocolate bar. I will never eat this. I don't even know why it's still in there. I got it from a child, like one of my, my children at school. And although there's nothing wrong with this bar of chocolate, I don't like milk chocolate. I like dark chocolate. So maybe I'll just give that to my children. 
uh, my car keys. Now, I've already done what's on my keychain with you guys. You know all about just the craziness of my keychain, so we won't go there. Uh, but I will leave a link or a card up here if you guys want to check out what's on my keychain. If, if I can find it, I will link it down below. Um, some coffee requests from my coworkers. A million, what is this? You know what these are? But the Monopoly tickets from Albertsons, because I really think I'm gonna win a million dollars. I need to open all these up and stick them on the scoreboard. That's no fun. A medieval times wet nappy, you know, for cleaning your hands. That was a lot of fun. We took our kids, my husband and I. That was great. A soft and chewy granola bar from Costco. You never know when the kids are hungry and they're dying for food. More Monopoly things. Girls can never live without tampons. A pen. These are the best pins ever. If you guys can get these pins, I would totally get them. They are the bomb. They just, they write so nicely. Some Buxom lip gloss. This is in the color Rose Julep. I love the minty stinging effect that it has on my lips. It's so good. I applied this before the video. It's a nice little pinky color. I love it. I got it for Christmas from a coworker. This is my wallet. It says poison. Ooh, Mr. Taco is a necessity in my life. And I get a free $6 off of my next purchase. So that's my wallet. Um, Bob Baker Subaru. I got my car's oil changed uh, months ago. I don't know why that's still in my purse. <sighs> what else? Another pen. Another n wet nap from Medieval Times. Some Nivea Soft. This is really nice hand cream. It's refreshingly soft, it says, with jojoba oil and vitamin E. Uh, it soaks into your skin pretty quickly, but it's so soft when you first put it on. I have a notebook of the dead to put notes in, and um, I do have some notes in here. See those notes? It's just books that I've written down. I don't know why they're in here. Was the list the things that I had to read or the things that I've already read? I have no idea. Albertson's receipts. I always have Albertson's receipts. See that? More Albertson's receipts. Uh, oops. Uh, this is my lanyard for work. Uh, yes, that is Kingdom Hearts. I loved Kingdom Hearts in my, uh, in the day. Um, this is a PlayStation 2 game, and they keep swearing that it's going to come out on PlayStation 4. I don't know why Kingdom Hearts never came out on PlayStation 3. It really bugs me, because I played Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, and Kingdom Hearts 3 is supposed to come out in December. I absolutely love Sora. If you love Disney, this is the best Disney game in the entire world. You get a key as your sword, you defeat all of the Disney villains, you get to go through all of the your favorite Disney levels. So like, there's Tarzan and you get to slide down these trees and hop over vines, just like Tarzan, and it's so fun. And um, yeah, here's my uh, ID picture for work. Back when I had collarbones, I've gained almost 20 pounds in the last three years from working, which I don't know how I feel about that. I don't eat any differently. I just don't work out anymore. All right, I have Wild Honeysuckle Antibacterial Hand Sanitizer. I love this stuff. It smells so delicious. I have a separate set of keys for my house. I don't know why there's... Oh, I have this separate because I, I go like this. 
and I run with them and the red keeps me, you know, in case I drop it, I can see it. I thought at one point in time that I would actually wear these shoelaces around my neck like a necklace, which was a stupid idea because then when you run, the giant keys bang against your chest. Um, and then of course, you can't live without a bottle opener. So there's that. Tissue. I I'm not even close to being done, people. This is just disgusting. Oh my God, more Monopoly tickets that I haven't opened yet. A ColourPop uh, matte uh, liquid lipstick, and this is in Beeper. This is my favorite color so far in the ColourPop matte liquid lipsticks. I love that color. I have a gum wrapper. A bouncy ball in plastic. Oh no, it's not a bouncy ball. This is Play-Doh or put not Play-Doh. It's like putty. Silly putty. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why I have that. I have a rubber band because that's a necessity for people who have long hair. Oh, I, I'm, I'm getting to the end though. I have more lotion. This is... A you how do you say that? Whatever that is. That one's not as good. I really don't like that one. I like the Nivea better. I have an, an actual bouncy ball. This one is an eyeball. I took it from a student who was messing around in class and forgot to give it back to him. I have more gum wrappers. More gum wrappers. A bunch of change. Let's see what else. More gum wrappers. Another hand sanitizer. This one is in raspberry meringue. This is a holiday edition. Oh, it smells so good. More change. Uh, fruit snacks. Let's see what's in the side pockets. Whew. Side pockets. A power up GameStop card, some a health card, and an appointment card, which I've already been to, so I don't need that one anymore. Ooh, my dentist appointment card. That one's not until August. More change. All right, what else we got? Oh, geez, Louise. Uh, another appointment card that's already been done. More Monopoly card. Those tickets need to be opened. Ooh, Costco. That right there is a mom shop that I do on constant. Oh my God, more change. More change, more change. What else? More change. Is that the same pocket? I think it was. Oh, look at that. More cards. Uh, my old ID card, you can barely see it. Ooh, another free coffee for that same coffee shop. More change. Ah, I, I need to put this somewhere else. Ooh, a Burt's Bee Honey Lemon Cough Drop. I haven't been sick in so long. I don't know how old that is. More change. What else? What else? All right, so that was all of the side pockets. Um, yeah, that was all the side pockets. My interior bottom, oh no, more change. <laughs> all right, so there's only one pocket left in this bag and that is the zipper pocket right there. I usually stick things that are, that I don't want sliding around my purse and getting lost. So I have the children's immunization cards in there, some coworker phone numbers, trash. I kept the Michael Kors little booklet. I, I don't know why, because I'm a hoarder. Uh, Band-Aids, I'll see. It says that the purse was originally $398.
Uh, why do they lie so much? I bought that at an outlet. I know for a damn fact it cannot have been $398. Good lord. All right, so I got more Band-Aids. That's four. I have a Burt's Bees Hibiscus Tinted Lip Balm. This is cool. More pens and a pencil. I used to carry around a crossword puzzle book as well as those Mad Libs. So if you're going to do crossword puzzles, um, unless you're a genius, you, you need an eraser because I can't do those in pen. There's no way. All right, what else have I got here? Um, an extremely old and NYX Butter Gloss in Maple Blonde. It's okay. These are cool. I don't use lip glosses very often. They smell really nice, though. A, a broken pen. A Nivea Olive Oil and Lemon Lip Balm. I'm a girl. You can never have too many lip balms. I love the smell of this. Uh, it smells so good. What else do I got? A Happy Day pen, a pink lighter. I don't smoke, I don't know why I have that in there. Uh, one of those cords that you can plug into your phone and then into your car to like, you know, make music. What else? Oh my God, more freaking change. I was wondering where all that noise was coming from. Jeez, my knees. And the very last thing in my bag, is my P.O. Box key. It comes with two. I'm the only one who checks it. I don't need to be carrying around two, but there you go. Okay, so I'm going to take the camera off of the tripod and kind of show you the grossness that was in my bag. And there you go. Like, seriously, just all of this garbage. All of it. All of that was in, and like, this is more garbage. All of that was in my bag. If you carry more shit than I do, um, you get a prize. I will give you two thumbs up because I don't know why I have all this crap. It's, it's legit insane. And that's it. Let me know down below if you liked this video. It's not something that I will do often. Um, I don't change my bags out like daily, weekly, monthly. It's really only when I get a new bag. And that one is now not garbage. It's just, like I said, I, I don't like the peeling. And on this side, there's lots of like peeling. Uh, unfortunately, I had to keep my purse in a, a drawer at work and it's usually an office drawer. So there's like sharp metal edges in it. It's not like a wooden drawer or anything. And I, I ruined this on my own. And I didn't like the fact that it didn't have any, um, like, you know, the hardware on the bottom to keep from it getting dirty. I don't know. I did love the quilted pattern. I think that was my favorite part about this entire bag. Anyways, let me know what bag you carry around. Do you have a name brand bag? I, this is my first one, like I said, and I'm 36. I've always had just like bags you buy from Target or Ross or any, anything generic. Um, I, even like before that, I didn't even use bags. I just carried around a wallet for the longest time because I didn't have enough stuff. But once I got kids and I couldn't use a diaper bag anymore, like legit my kids could not be seen with a diaper bag anymore because they were way too old, I had to get a purse to carry all their crap in. And it ended up overflowing and now I just have too much garbage in my purse. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week and I will talk to you soon. Bye.